that was close. But I wonder why it came here. Maybe it's because you've been dicing yourself in cow hormones, you daft old get Okay, this is what you give to cows to make them want to. You oh. know, it probably followed you here. We've kept it very true to the books, to the annuals, to the stories, the comics. Very short scenes, couplets, keeping it to the way it should be. It's very high comedy. Yeah, just got that point of these are real humans rather than just a yeah. comic strip as well. You're taking like that, that classic Bruins style of these little classic misunderstandings and in eight frames and then trying to match that with like you know the context of like a two hour play and having like like tension and like a bit of pathos in it as well. Rob Drummond's done a really great job with the script of, um, of bringing the energy of the comics into the stage play and making them real human beings. There's lots of craziness that happens, <laughs> a lot of manic slapstick etc. It's going to be a really fun show, uh, lots of laughter um, but there's also a lot of songs and a lot of music in it uh, that I think will really add to it and add to the kind of party atmosphere of that night out uh, going going to the theatre. I think Rob Drummond the writer's done a great job in this because it's a difficult job to take a comic strip and turn it into a play and I think he really does it justice. Just all the characters are really distinct I'd say and it's just really funny. Um, it's got songs, it's got slapstick, it's got broad comedy but what it's also got um, is a heart to it and pathos and you care about the characters that you're coming to watch so I think it gives you something slightly different. So we both trained uh, on the musical theatre course at the Royal Conservatoire and we literally just graduated this past July. July, yeah. July. So it's, it really kind of feels like we've, we haven't really left yet because we know we're back and working over over here. Yeah. Like, and we, were, we rehearsed our very last show in the same room as well, so it's... Except like we never left. <laughs> um, I think what the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland's really great at as an institution is encouraging collaboration, um, which is really um, important in theatre, obviously. Um, so, so we've spent the last four years being encouraged every day to collaborate um, across disciplines with um, other people, from directors to writers to actors to the production team. Um, to musicians um, is something that's really important um, and that we've, I've taken into from my training straight into this uh, process. Actually learning old Scots and a bit more of the culture, being able to place accents going from Dundee to Glasgow to Aberdeen to Edinburgh um, has helped me immensely to yeah. have a career. I did an undergrad in the, in the music school and then I moved to the drama school and did a musical direction masters and I think since then I've kept that relationship with the musical theatre department. I've, I love working with them, I love writing for them and developing new work and here it's a lot of similar faces in the room making the Bruins now. It's obviously there's a bundle of laughs, it's very much old fashioned music hall but within that there's a lot of poignancy, a lot more poignancy than I was expecting and I think there are going to be quite a few tears as well in the audience. Who cancelled our wedding at the last minute because our fiance was cheating on our four different women? It was only three. Shut up, please!